Hello everyone. Well, I'm afraid I've got a bit of a cold, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm a bit bunged up, but uh, vacuum cleaner unboxing doesn't stop just because I've got snot dribbling out of my nose. Well, today is a little uh, handheld unit by a French company called Moulinex. Uh, we don't really have much of an impact in the vacuum cleaner world at the moment. I believe they still do Moulinex vacuums on the continent, but uh, you can't really get them in the United Kingdom and certainly not, I would have thought, not in the USA either. Okay, let's get this little Moulinex handheld vacuum unboxed. Okay, well, you'll have to excuse um, the mess. Now, I've left a bit of a mess, as you can see, on my carpet. I've just been cutting up some bits of paper. Uh, I thought, well, I'll leave it because I could test, do a quick demo, if it works, of this little Moulinex. Let's have a look. This arrived today, of course, from an eBay seller. It was on a buy it now, I can't remember how much it cost me, but not, not a huge amount. I've had a couple of Moulinex handheld vacuum cleaners in the past. A Moulinex Handy Vac, which was quite good, I had that in the 80s. I've also had, I think it's called Model 100, I'm not sure, but I knew it as the Moulinex Petty Vac, which was another smaller handheld vacuum. This was sort of the bigger brother to the Petty Vac. Not really sure what the model is until I open it. Uh, if I can get past this industrial strength tape. <clears throat> they were quite a budget manufacturer really when they were going in the UK. Moulinex and Goblin were sort of considered lower end. But you know when I see them now, they're not half bad, to be honest. This is a Moulinex Model 250, Asper, Asper à Polybeer, or something, anyway, it's French for vacuum. <clears throat> Here we are. So it's a mains powered, bagged handheld vac. I think it's a, a reusable bag. Okay, let's... I think all, all that hopefully will all that I'll need to do with this particular vacuum is just give it a clean and a polish. So here's a rather nice dusting brush. Fairly soft. If you can hear the wind, it's a very blustery evening in the UK at the time of making this video. So apologies if you can hear any wind noise. Anyway, that's quite a nice dusting brush. First thing, let's have a look what else we've got. Not sure if we've got the instruction for this. <clears throat> there was uh, a leaflet shown in the listing from what I could make out of the picture. It might have just been an instruction, uh, sorry, a guarantee leaflet. Here's uh, quite a little narrow carpet and floor nozzle. It's got the hard floor brush attached. There we go. Underneath the hard floor brush, I believe. Oh, there we go. That's for doing your carpets. And look, although it's not nice and polished, it is actually whoops, a metal, a metal sole plate. This looks similar to the one I had on my um, Moulinex Handy back. That's a bit uh, stiff. I think that would benefit. I don't think I can oil it or anything, but I think once it's cleaned, I mean, that is pretty good condition, to be honest. I think it's probably had quite um, light use, this, because, of course, this would have been a supplementary vacuum cleaner for a household. They wouldn't have used it as their main vacuum. Might have been a wedding gift. Who knows? That's your all-purpose nozzle. I might, be, I might be having a coughing fit in a minute. I can feel it building. You didn't, get a, you didn't get a hose with this model. I don't think a hose was ever supplied. With my Moulinex handy back, there was a little hose. Two plastic extension ones. Again, that's superficial dirt on those. Crevice nozzle. 
quite a quite a narrow one there, quite wide at the end, doing down the side of your chairs, etc. It's a little adapter piece. I think that's used so you can connect the small nozzles directly to the suction unit. I think that's what that's for. Here is the cleaner. I love this so retro, isn't it? The orange and the tan colour. It is very 70s. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased so far. I think a uh, bit of a wipe and a polish. That's going to look good. Aha, good. It has got it has got the instructions. Here's the uh, plug. I best check that. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> The plug wouldn't have been fitted to this cleaner. It predates fitted plugs, so before... Well, I'll risk it. I know you like to see me risking life and limb, plugging in vacuums, hoping they're going to explode. So I will risk it uh, and plug it in and turn it on before checking. At least it seems like they've, they've fitted the cord grip correctly on that. Also, I've got inside the box, it needs a bit of a vac out itself. I got a <laughs> a ticket for the swimming pool junior bathing. Isn't it funny what you get inside <laughs> boxes? Issued subject to charges and conditions as displayed. Valid for one season on day of issue and at this pool only. So somebody at, at Tendring District Council swimming pool has uh, missed out on a swim there, maybe. I don't think that's valid anymore. This looks like it was a part of the vacuum though, showing you how to wire the plug. I don't know if you can see that. And finally, let's just have a quick look at the box. I don't think there's anything interesting to see on the box. Um, no, not, not, nothing of any, any great interest. <clears throat> Here is the little instruction leaflet. I wonder if there's any dates on this. These instructions should be read carefully to ensure that the best results are obtained. The 12 months guarantee covers any mechanical or electrical fault, providing the appliance is used in accordance with the instructions and is not misused. Before use, the appliance operates on 240 volts AC only. It is double insulated with a two core lead. Important, the wires in the main lead, lead are coloured in accordance. Oh, they're spelt coloured wrong. <laughs> C-O-U-L-O-U-R-E-D. Well, you don't need the U after the O. Oh, dear. I know you spell coloured differently in America. But that's not the way anyone spells coloured, I don't think. Oh, dear. Is that it? terribly not, not much of the instructions is showing you the tools there and on the back it's showing emptying I'll just check I've got all the tools it seems I've got the large suction foot is designed for carpets and rugs for parquet flooring lino and smooth surfaces etc clip the floor brush onto the suction foot to clean car interiors curtains materials etc use a small suction foot Never use this attachment for cleaning large rugs or carpets. For recesses, upholstery, armchairs, radiators, use T crevice tool. I think that should be the crevice tool. The round brush is used like a duster for dusting mouldings, beadings, lampshades, Venetian blinds, etc. Da, da, da. And to empty the dust bag, remove the extension tube, solve the motor unit, blah, blah. The dust bag should be emptied, shaken, ah, and brushed frequently, but must never, in capitals, be washed. So I will just uh, vacuum that. If Hopefully it's in there. Care of the mains lead. The vacuum cleaner is supplied with a high quality mains lead, which should be wound around the cleaner after use. Spare parts should be ordered from your usual dealer. If difficulty is experienced, write to the address on the guaranteed card. Well, that's not included. Um, there is, it says 476, so perhaps this is from 1976, or at least that was printed 
in 76. I think it would probably be, I'm saying, I think this is a 70s uh, model. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Condition wise. There we go, there's the Moulin X. Moulin X had two strap lines in their advertising that I remember. One was, you'll feel more at home with Moulin X, and Moulin X make things simple, and that includes the price. So, um, there's no Moulin X tea, well yes, there is one Moulin X vacuum cleaner advert on my channel, but not the one I remembered. Oh, the wind's blowing, blowing a gale. Um, if you search my channel for Moulin X, you'll find that advert. Um, that uses a strap line. I believe Moulin X make things simple, and that includes the price. But the uh, the other strap line was, uh, "You'll feel more at home with Moulin X." Oh, right, there we go. <coughs> Deary me, I'm a bit blocked up. There we go. There's the thingy, the jig made in France. I can just about read that. What else does it say? What's the wattage? 250 watts. Mm. Yep. Assume that grill is exhaust vent. I can just about see the motor. That's where the, the flex enters at the back of the cleaner. Obviously that's the suction end. And let's have a look. How do we open it? Oh, oh that's handy. You just go like this, look. Oh. Can you see? It's, it's not bad. It's got a metal metal hinge. Yuck. Oh, yucko. Yuck. Ooh, no filtration. I don't think it. I don't think it would have had any. Nothing in there. It's, it's, it's relatively relatively clean, isn't it? Really. I suppose I could put a little filter pad, cut a filter pad on there. Just to give it a bit of extra filtration. Because I'm sure there's no filter shown, I don't think, in the book. What have I done with it? It's gone. Oh, where is it? No, it's here. It's behind you. No, I think that is the filter, the bag. There is something in the bag which uh, I think does possibly belong to this vacuum. Um, I don't know, does it? I'm not sure actually. Oh, it's broken anyway. Uh, I don't know. Let's keep it just in case. It doesn't look like it fits on. It might have gone on there, but I can't see the, the need for it really. Uh, I'll pop it in the box just in case. And this dirty, dirty bag. As I say, they say not to wash it, so I won't wash it. I'll just uh, get another vacuum and give that a good vacuuming. Um, I might use some SIBO Duo powder on it to freshen it up actually. And that will give it a bit of a clean without wetting it. Well hopefully it will have some suction. It looks, it doesn't look blocked up, it's mainly sort of fluff in there, it doesn't seem to be blocked. There's a tiny cloth bag, I doubt, I doubt I'll be able to get any of those now. I think model, uh, spares for this model will be few and far between. I don't know if it goes in a certain way. That seems to be it. There is a rubber seal. So I don't know what the, the purpose of that black ring is because hmm, might not belong in here. Right, how did this go on? Was it this way? Oh. Did this, uh, I can't remember how it fitted. Nothing. Can't. No, it can't be right, surely. It wasn't like that, was it? I've forgotten how it went. I think it'd be underneath. Ah. Is that it? You tuck it underneath. Just having a look at it, because I think... No, it's the same. It's the same. I don't think it matters which way, I which way round I put it in. I don't think. But I think it must... Yes, it has to go under. There's a little lip at the front here. So I've got to put it under this lip then secure it the other end with this that's it that should be the way it goes okay then okay you ready for me to uh, jump out of my skin and get blown up 
that's what you tune in for nowadays on these vintage unboxings. I know one of you made a comment that uh, one of my viewers, he enjoyed my vintage machines, especially when I get electrocuted or things fall apart. Well, thank you for that. Hopefully, this, this won't electrocute me. You never know. But if I've uploaded it, I must have survived it anyway. Okay, I'll just pause while I find a suitable socket outlet and we'll uh, try this old girl out for the first time. Oh, what a mess, what a mess. Oh, dear me. Right, um, I'll keep that. Don't, I don't really want all this rubbish. I'll just throw that down the stairs behind me. I'll keep this when I store the machine away. And that bit. Okay. Woo what I should really do is um, switch it on here and then plug it in at a safe distance. I know. Ah, I'll use. I use these extension ones. <laughs> I'll just retreat. Light the blue touch paper and retreat. Now then. That's it. Right. Are you ready? Oh, it made my light, uh, made my light flicker, but it is plugged in for the same lead as the light. Okay. Well, it sounds really quiet and smooth, but of course, it's not going to give me a shock because it's plastic. If I was to stick these scissors into here. I might get a shock, although I shouldn't, because it is, it's uh, B A B A B A B A E B approved, so, you know, but who knows. Mm. Certainly less power than my uh, vintage 80s Hoover Dustette that I've unboxed. Um, that, that was brand new, though. It probably, when I've uh, actually cleaned the bag a bit, probably have a little bit more suction. So that's what I'm going to do, actually. I'll pause, I'll take this bag and uh, select uh, a vacuum cleaner. Well, I can see one. There's a little SIBO in the background. Um, I'll, I'll just clean that out a bit and see if that improves the suction. Okay, right. That's that job done. Now I'll preempt the question because I'm sure somebody will ask this. What vacuum did you use to clean this? Well, I used my SIBO Airbelt K3 Premium. Anyway, I've given it a rudimentary clean and it's uh, obviously a lot, lot better. Probably could do with a little bit more of a going, but you know, that'll do for now for the purpose of the demo. So let's pop that back in. I don't think it'll have made a huge difference to the to suction power. That's it. And there we go. <laughs> can't tell, can't tell any difference. Right, now I think, what I say, I think this is used. Yes, that's it. So now I've got it in handheld mode. Well, it is, it's always in handheld mode because obviously I'm holding it in my hand, so views like this would be on my stairs and my upholstery, my uh, Austin Allegro or Austin Princess, whatever car I would have had back in the day, Ford Escort, I don't know, don't know much about cars, a Datsun Sunny, anyway, <coughs> most cars would have had those horrible vinyl seats back in the day which uh, got red hot in the summer, and if you had short trousers on, you used to get burnt legs. That's, it's uh, suffering from what my Hoover Jovis corded suffered from. It tends to blow a lot of the dust about, because the exhaust air is blowing downwards, and it's moving a lot of this. That won't happen if I have the extension wand on though, so I'll do that. Um, so here's the dusting tool attached. All in all, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's a nice little retro, retro item. 
Oh, now that's funny. That doesn't fit on the crevice. I assume the crevice nozzle will go directly in. Yep, so the crevice nozzle goes directly into that. Now I suppose I could fit the large nozzle. Yep, that will fit on. But now do I need that for the extension? No. So I've now got the carpet nozzle fitted to both extension tubes. Now that's it. Now they fit directly in. So the suction's probably going to be a bit, bit worse having to travel through these tubes. It should pick up these bits of paper though. Oh, let's get on with it. Let's have a look. the camera there well it's it, there's a few bits that I've missed but the bits I went over it did pick them up but I can't see it doing very well <laughs> my bag of filth I don't know if I'll bother I will do another test on this I'll do a proper demo with some more dirt and I'll see how it copes on a hard floor as well but um, yeah it's very very weak Anyway, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with that. I've, uh, I've not really, you know, I've not desperately wanted one of these. I've always thought at some point I'll get one. Um, and when I saw this on eBay about uh, to buy it now price, I think I did offer something a bit less. It was, it was open to offers and I offered a few pounds less and it was accepted. I thought it was a fair price to pay. Um, you know, it's pretty good, I don't think I say. don't think this old girl has had very much use at all. It's nice sounding, nice bit of vintage French vacuum cleaner. Okay, if you've liked this video, please thumb me up. Please subscribe. Please check out all my other videos as well on my channel. It's taken me a long time to make those. So I would like uh, to think that uh, they do get viewed from time to time, not just my new ones, but you can check back on all my old videos as well. So there we go, that's it. The end of the video for the Moulinex one, oh no, sorry, the Moulinex 250 and held vacuum cleaner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.